just in time for the morning commute, a light rain combined with cold temperatures made roads slick, causing accidents across the state. Came on real quickly. This cement truck was heading north on Route 106 when firefighters believe the driver lost control on icy roads and struck two vehicles heading south. Driver of the um, cement truck was trapped. The police actually got him out. The roads froze rapidly in many spots, causing some cars to slide off the road and in some cases roll over. Our crews work very hard to try to keep the traveling public safe. This type of condition this morning is among the most difficult when you get freezing rain. You really can't get out in front of it. Bill Boynton of DOT says it's impossible to treat roads before a freezing rain event. The, the water will render it ineffective quickly. Uh, it will blow off the road on dry pavement, so you really have to start treating it when it happens. The state's Transportation Management Center monitors conditions and calls crews out as soon as the freezing process began. Crews are called out, they begin to respond. We have 700 plows treating upwards of 5,000 miles of state roads, so just to do one route will take an hour and a half to two hours to complete. Boynton says it's important for drivers to know that when roads rapidly freeze over, there will be unsafe conditions until crews can start the salting and sanding process. People need to know that the bottom line is when you get an event like this, you're going to have slippery roads and people need to slow down and drive according to the conditions. Bill says it's important for all drivers to take it slow during a weather event like this, whether the roads have been salted or not. Live in Hooksit, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.